For manufacturing companies, their bill of materials are the heart and soul of the company. The bill of materials contains a list of parts that, when assembled, make up the company's finished products. It is essential for world-class manufacturing companies to have world-class bill of materials software. PCMRP's bill of materials supports infinite levels of bonds and infinite reference designators per part number. PCMRP's bill of materials modules can be accessed by clicking on Modules, Bombs, and then selecting Newer Edit. In this case, we'll select Edit. Let's look at a typical bomb. Since I'm looking for a display, I will type in D, click on Search. There's my display. Now I'll click on the OK button. This form consists of a raw LED display and a stuffed analog circuit board. To see what's in the stuffed circuit board, I can select the stuffed circuit board and then click on Move to Subassembly. The stuffed analog display board consists of a raw unstuffed board, two different types of resistors, and some assembly labor. Now I can select the 200 ohm resistor and click on Edit. Here I can change my quantity from 3 to 4 and enter my reference designators for the 200 ohm resistors. Let's see, R1 and R5 through R7. Notice that PCMRP can support infinite reference designators as I can go on and on entering values. I can click on OK to get back to the subassembly. I can move up to the parent sub I can move back up to the parent assembly by clicking on the parent assembly button and clicking on the yes to save my changes. To add an item to an assembly, click on the add item button. Next, click on the part numbers ellipse button. Since I'm going to add a connector, I will enter C for connector, click on the search button, and then the OK button. I only want one connector, so I'll leave the quantity at one and click on the OK button. If I select the new part number and click on the miscellaneous tab, I can click on the where used button to see where this part is used. Here I can see the wheel assembly uses two of these connectors. If I click on the image button, I can see what the part looks like. The bomb status button can be left blank or set to preliminary or released. The password module can be set to allow only users with the bomb delete rights to edit a released bomb. Clicking on the finish button will save the bomb. To print out a bomb, select modules, bombs, and print bombs. Select costed exploded. Select the, the bomb by clicking on the scroll button. I will enter D for display, click on the search, and then press the OK button. We can send the costed exploded bomb to the display, print, PDF, ASCII, Excel, or a DBF file. Let's select display. Notice that when the exploded bomb is that the exploded bomb is indented with periods, one for each level, and that the average cost has been updated with the changes we made. Well, I hope that gives you an idea of what PCMRP's bomb module can do for your company. Thank you.